Welcome back, I am Technivorous. We are going to be working in this episode on the ABS profile. And in order to do that, we are going to go back to our base profile. And you also need to ensure after the last video, even after you load this, just to be positive, that you have unchecked spiralized outer contour. This, this is the uh, box we were using for vase mode, and since we're not doing vases, we need to uncheck it. And yeah, I've accidentally... Uh, left it checked before and you always get some pretty interesting prints but nine times out of ten that is not a good thing so make sure that that's turned off and then we'll go ahead and go adjust our other settings now I'm gonna start at point two again and I'm just gonna hang out at point two I'm not gonna make three separate profiles for this one because I don't use ABS very often um, but I do want to leave oh, we'll change the infill to 20 and we're going to raise the print temperature to 240. Uh, we'll probably lower it a bit depending on what ABS we're using as we're printing, but this is a good starting point. Um, you can see my build plate temperature got jacked up too. That's why it's good to go over these settings. Uh, build plate temperature, we're going to do 60, 65, 70, somewhere in there. You don't want to go too high now. You don't have to worry. Sometimes you'll hear people say if you run sustained heat on a magnetic mat, it'll demagnetize it. Don't worry about that. I have thoroughly disproven it. I've got videos all about it. Uh, Chuck Hellebeck also did a, a video on it on his site, disproving it, and it's pretty much a myth. So you don't need to worry about raising your bed temperature too high. But that being said, I don't ever really need temperatures over 65 degrees. So I'm going to leave mine at 60. I'm leaving all the retraction and print speed settings the same, and I will do that with PETG too. I don't really worry about any of that until I get to TPU because it's so flexible that sometimes it causes problems. The other thing you want to do for an ABS print especially, you want to come down here into experimental, and if this checkbox is not showing, type in draft, and it will show you the enable draft shield. You click that there, and it will pop up in here. And with your ABS prints, especially on the Ender 3, because I'm not printing in an enclosure, uh, I want the draft shield. And what a draft shield is, is it's a lot like tree support except it just builds vertically, so it'll build a perimeter wall around your print, uh, keeping it from getting struck by the side from drafts. Now, um, uh, temperature variance in a room is one of the biggest problems with ABS prints. If you are printing something large in your beds at, say, 70 degrees Celsius, and your hot end is at 240 degrees Celsius, the further the hot end gets from the bed, the cooler the middle of the model becomes because it's far from those heat points. So uh, that variance, a little little slight breeze blowing across there can cause cracks, distortion, warpage, layer separation, things like that. And we don't want that with our ABS, so we're going to uh, mock having an enclosure and protect us from those drafts with this draft shield. So that's a very necessary thing if you want to get good quality prints without having to put a box around your printer. The other setting that we need to check on in here is going to be the fan uh, and that's under cooling I do have it enabled as you can see but I have the fan speed set to zero uh, and that's fine you can also disable it if you like and that's gonna be the last setting we change for our ABS profile from there you can go to profile manage profiles and hit create And we're going to do Kira 3 ABS. You can name this whatever you want. Uh, and this is a point 2. Like I said, you could go through and make other size and quality profiles uh, so you can skip around pretty easily, but I don't use ABS that often. So one profile for it is fine for me. Uh, go ahead and close that. And you can see everything's changed up here. We seem to be looking good. That's going to conclude this video. Don't forget to hit the like button. Hit subscribe down below. Ring that bell so you can get notifications. We are still going to be posting the PETG and a separate TPU video, as well as a couple other specialty videos that I have in mind for specific types of prints that I think you will like. So stay tuned, guys. 
And as always, guys, I am Technivorous. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button. You can subscribe right here by clicking on the icon. And I put a couple videos up in the corner. One of them is going to be my latest video, my latest upload. And the other one is going to be what YouTube recommends for you. So feel free to check those out. Don't forget to hit that bell for notifications down below. And we'll see you guys next time.